All right, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be going over my Harman pellet stove to see how much electricity this thing will use on a low setting and how much electricity this thing will use on a high setting. And I'm gonna use this kilowatt easy meter. I'll put one of these down in the description if you wanted to check this out yourself. And if you're gonna do this the way I do this, also I'm gonna use a really good extension cord. You can maybe skip the extension cord part, but I have my stove plugged into a surge protector and that surge protector would cover up, I think, some of my buttons. But I'm gonna run this stove on low for 24 hours and see how much electricity I use. Now I cleaned out my burn pot and I cleaned out inside my burn pot. So hopefully this thing should light as easy as it can. And then when I do the high setting, I'll clean out my burn pot again before I start this up. I gotta start this here at three o'clock. So I'll go from three till three tomorrow. And I'm doing this these two days also because I tried to look at the weather and tonight until tomorrow, the weather looks really close to the same as, as tomorrow night into the next day. Or a little bit about this kilowatt meter in case you decide to get one. This exact same one that I bought it's gonna tell me how much electricity this thing will use for a hour, a day, a month, and a year, which I'll never use this for the whole year. So I'd like to see what it costs me per, say, month. So if I run this for 24 hours, it will tell me approximately what this is gonna cost me per month, which could be different too because of the temperature outside, but I'm not gonna let this thing plugged in for an entire month. Oh, also, if you would decide to get one of these, if you watch my other video, I'll show you a little bit more about this, but you can put what your rate is on your kilowatt per hour. If you look at your bill, your bill, your electricity bill will tell you what your kilowatt per hour is. And you can put that in this machine. That's how it's gonna tell me how much money it costs me. And if you're new to my channel, I have, I think now 14 videos on this same pellet stove. So hit that subscribe button. So you have all the videos on this stove and give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> okay, let me get this set up so I'm ready to go at exactly three o'clock and then tomorrow I'm gonna check this at three o'clock. All right, I'm gonna plug this in and I'll plug my kilowatt meter into this. Don't put this on your stove because your stove is going to get hot. I'm going to reset this. All right, this is reset. All right, I got this all hooked together. And I got this thing set up. So at exactly three o'clock, I'm going to plug this in. And we're going to see how it goes. All right, all right right now it's at 3.7 amps. So when that, when that igniter kicks in, this should jump up quite a bit higher. Oh, there, it's lighting. Tell me my amps don't ever go up when that thing lights? That's amazing. Still 3.1 amps. How many watts? It's got the watts gotta be going up. 351 watts. 352 watts. But the amps never really went up. I don't know, maybe an electrician can explain that, because I don't know. I thought the amps would go up too. Well, that's good. Uh, that watt should dro drop down when this is done lighting. <clears throat> yeah, 3.1, wow. 350 watt, 350 watts still. I think this is gonna drop way off once that igniter shuts down. Ooh, there it went up to 391. 3.7 amps. Hope now one of the fans kicked on. Or the distribution fan, I guess. Now we're at 417. There's no way it stays like that all the time. This is what I got it set on. I'm gonna keep my, keep this knob right here right on low, right? And then tomorrow I'm gonna put it right exactly on high when I start my next one. Don't worry about this. I'm not going that hot. I have mine connected to a thermostat upstairs. I have a video on that also. 
I didn't think this thing would run this many watts for that long. It's still at 375 watts. <clears throat> Hard to believe those fans take that much electricity. All right, let me go for the complete 24 hours and I'll let you know what happens here and we'll go over them numbers. All right, there's 24 hours. Now, here's my total cost. That's what it costs per hour, four cents an hour, 98 cents a day, 691 a week, and 2964 a month. And I'm gonna look how many kilowatt hour or how many kilowatt hours it used. 8.60 kilowatt. And I tried to look a couple times yesterday on kind of the average watt and the average amps it was using. It didn't seem to go up and down too much. So I wrote that down. It was normally around 357 watt and 3.2 amps. So we'll see if it's gonna change a lot when I turn this to the high setting. Now some people might have to always run theirs on a high setting. My house seems to, I can leave it on a high setting or a low setting. If I want my one room here at the other end of my house a little warmer, I'll put it on a high setting and all the hot air will blow down there better. If not, I almost think it heats my house better because my thermostat that I wired to this is right above this. If I keep it on low, all the hot air has more time to just go upstairs and not throughout my whole house. And my bedrooms are also on the other side of my house and I don't really want them too hot. I already reset this and it's on high. I'm just gonna plug it in and check. I gotta check this around 421 tomorrow. Yeah, so, so far, so far I burnt through about 65 pounds of pellets. So just a little bit over a bag in one day. <clears throat> and it was down in the 20s last night. I don't know if that's gonna be a lot different or not. Well, so far, the fan just kicked on and the fan's on high and it's running about four, well, the highest it was about 450, 448. Now it just dropped back down. I think that was definitely higher than it was on low, which, which would make sense. So if it runs this high all day, oh, there I can hear the augers kicking on. When that auger is on and the fan's on high, it's close to 450. All right, well, let me let this run on high for 24 hours and we'll see how this goes. I'll see you again here in 24 hours or a couple seconds. It's recording, honey. Huh? All right, another day has passed and I had my Harman Pella stove on a high setting just to see if it would be a lot different than how much electricity this uses. I used four cents an hour. So far it came out the same. One dollar and three cents a day, which is a little bit more. Seven dollars and 26 cents a week. 31, 13 a month. And I used my kilowatts, 9.03 kilowatts per hour. From yesterday when I started this on high till now, about 67 and a half pounds of pellets. So I guess what I found out, it don't really matter too much if you run this on a low setting or a high setting. It's not gonna be too much different if you run it on your high setting. You might spend a few more dollars, but normally you're only probably using your pellets though for what, four or five months at the most. I use heat pumps in the beginning and at the end of winter, so I don't even run this in the beginning and at the end. So I don't really ever see too much difference in my electricity bill, because as soon as I turn my heat pump off, I turn this on. So my electric bill still just stays real similar. Put down in the comments, let me know what you think. Does this pellet stove use less electricity than what you thought, or more electricity than what you thought? Now, it's gonna be a little different if you live somewhere that your electricity is cost a lot more. Like I said, you're going to need to know what your kilowatt per hour is. That's, I already put that into my machine and you can, if you don't know how to figure all that out, I talk about more of that in my other video that I have where I talked about my kilowatt meter. 
so I'll put a cop or I'll put a link to that at the end of this video and please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel and watch one of the other 13 videos I have on this Harman pellet stove. Thank you very much. God bless and have a great heating season.